स्वागत है तुम्हारा आज खुलेंगे मैथ्स का पिटारा बजाएंगे नंबर सिस्टम के क्वेश्चंस का ढोलक मैं हूं अमित मोदक सो राइट ऑन द कमेंट बॉक्स ढोलक जल्दी से ढोलक लिखो कमेंट बॉक्स में बिकॉज दिस ढोलक साउंड इज वेरी वेरी एनर्जेटिक सो ऑल राइट आगे बढ़ते हैं सो स्टूडेंट्स एज आई मेंशन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू बी द ढोलक फॉर द नंबर सिस्टम रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन and this would be of your grade 7 and 8 questions this would be of your grade 7 and 8 so if you have not subscribed the channel jaldi se subscribe karo like button ko click karo and also share with your friends because ye bahut hi amazing channel and you get lot of lot of knowledge when you come to this channel so do subscribe it right now and share with your friends so if you have not bought your notebook and pen rush bring it and let's start with the questions so first question on your screen here it is of your imo 2014 bahut hi interesting sawal ko main karunga yahan pe ye bahut hi mazedar sawal hai bahut hi sundar sa sawal hai Roshan wanted to type the first 190 whole numbers. Find the number of times he had to press the numbered keys. Roshan, 190 whole numbers को type करना चाहता है, so कितनी बार वो numbered keys को press करेगा? All right. So if you are getting the answer as 463. Very well done, my lovely students. Very well done. So let's see how four sixty is the right answer. So Roshan wanted to type the first one ninety whole numbers. So what will he do? He will write zero, one, two, three, keyboard, press it. Four, one, two, three, 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 four, one, two right so we have to understand how many times he will be pressing so aisa hai ki 0 se leke 0 se leke 9 tak agar press karte hain 0 se leke 9 tak press karte hain to we get 10 numbers from 0 1 2 3 4 like this 10 numbers are there and we are pressing only one so 10 into 1 is 10 similarly we will be looking into from 10 to 99. 10 से लेके 99 तक अगर देखें, so we are getting 90, 90 numbers मिलेंगे हमें, okay? And उन 90 numbers को type करने के लिए we have to press two times, like 11, 11, 15, 15, 78, 78, 78. Two times we are pressing. So 90 numbers, two times pressing, it becomes 180. Similarly, from hundred to one hundred ninety, from hundred to one hundred ninety, how many numbers we will be getting from hundred one to one ninety, ninety and hundred. That means ninety one numbers we will be getting, and this time we will be pressing three numbered keys for each three digit number. So ultimately, ninety one into three is two seventy three. So now we will be adding it up. So on adding, what we are getting? Eight plus one nine. Nine plus seven is sixteen. Carry one, two, one, three, and one four. So it's four sixty-three. So total number of times we are pressing is four sixty-three times. Okay, very well done, students. Let's move on to the another question. Two men, each working five hour per day, can finish a job in twelve days. How long will men, each working two hour per day, take to finish the same job? If two men, each working five hour per day, can finish a job in twelve days, how long will a four men, each working two hour per day, take 
to finish the same job. Again, it's a of your IMO 2017 question. All right, then let's look into the answer. And if your answer is 15, wonderful, wonderful. So let's look at how we can do this. So it says two men is working five hours per day. Means somewhere in a whole day, this two men is contributing their 10 hours of work. Okay. And if they are contributing 10 hours of work, then if they do that 10 hours of work continuously for next 12 days, the work will be done. Now, in the another case, it says that how long, now how many days it will take if the same job is being done by four men and they are contributing only two hours a day. That means they are contributing eight hours in a day. Now, obvious that 10 hours of contribution is being given. So, obvious that time duration for completing the work would be less. And where the time duration is being given as 8 hours a day. That means, obvious that time will be taken more. So, let us do this question. Let us say the number of hours... in a day contributed by men. Okay. So, if we see here, so in first case, two men is contributing 10, uh, 5 hours uh, per, per men giving 5 hours. So, that means 10 hours we are getting a contribution in a whole day. And if this continuous number of days is 12. So, 10 hours has been given, then 12 days it will take to complete. Now, if let's say 4 men, 2 hours, that means 8 hours a day they are contributing. So, how much they will get? And how much day they will take to finish the same job? So, let's say this is x. Now, since we can understand this is your inverse relationship, number of hours being more, number of days will be less and vice versa. So, what we can just do express it like 10 into 12 is equal to 8 into x. So, x would be 10 into 12 divided by 8, 4 to the 8, 4 3 is a 12, 2 1 is a 2 5 is a 10. Ultimately, we are getting 15 days. So, you felt interesting solving this question? So, I have a very good news for you all. So, there is a Olympiad Math Mastery Level 4 course is going to start for the grade 5 and 6 starting on 6th October Friday. And this course will be conducting on two days in a week that's on Friday and Saturday. This is for your grade 5 and 6. For the classes for the grade 7 and 8, the level 5 is there. So, if we look into the highlights of this course, it would be comprising of 40 lectures, 8 part test, 2 full test, daily assignment with video solutions, video solutions of the test also, telegram group for your doubt solving and the time duration is only one hour on Friday and one hour on Saturday. And teacher, it's me, Amit Modak sir is going to teach you for the level 4. And if you use my coupon code Amit K, you will also get an attractive discounted price at 7,000 So, for more details and if you want to join this, the link is in the description. And I would be curiously waiting. I will be waiting eagerly for you all. And I would appreciate if you join. You are going to gain a lot of it knowledge here and you will be able to prepare yourself for competitive exams. So, it's 
the highlights is only the Olympiad math mastery. Trust me, you will be able to solve the questions of your school levels very easily because here you will be also doing some higher level questions and that once you get you will be very very impressive with your mathematics so i would suggest everyone and if you're not from your grade 5 and 6 i would also ask you to share this with your juniors with your other kids those who are on 5 and 6 grade or your relatives okay so let's do another question now students the difference in the place value of 8 between the greatest and the smallest four digit numbers formed by using the digits 3805 each only once is what you have to tell the difference in the place value of 8 in the greatest four digit number and the smallest four digit number using these digits only and using only once Click on the pause button and solve it and get the answer. So, all right, is your answer 7992. Very wonderful, students. Very wonderful. So, let's do it. So, if we want to make a four digit number out of these digits, we will get the greatest four digit number 8. 5, 3, 0. Now, place value of 8. As it is, we know 1's place, this is 10's place, 100's place and this is 1000's place. So, place value of 8 is going to be 8 into 1000. That is 8000. Similarly, if you want to get the smallest 4 digit number, so, by using 3805, we can make the smallest digit number is starting with 3. Why not 0? Because if it, we use 0, it will become 3 digit. Okay, so yeah, after 3, we can put it up. 3058. Now, again, place value of 8 is being in unit place. So, 8 into 1 is 8. Now, as per the question, it's being 8000 subtracted by 8. So, 2997. So, 7992 is our answer. Alright. So, you are doing very wonderful. Let's move on to the another one. The sum of the digits of a two digit number is 9. If 27 is subtracted from the number, then the digits interchange their places. Find the number. It's again an IMO question of 2011. Sum of the two digits number is 9. And 27 is subtracted from the number. The digits interchange their places. Find the number. Okay. So, let's look into the answer. If it is 63. Wonderful then. So, let's look into the solution part. The sum of the digits of a two digit number, like if we take two digit number like 23. So, what is the sum? 2 plus 3, 5. If I take, uh, let's say, 81, what is the sum of the digits? 8 plus 1, 9. So, similarly, we can get lot of two digits number whose sum is 9. So, we don't know which, uh, which two digit number it is talking about. Because additionally, they have given 27 is also getting subtracted so that the digits get interchanged. Means 81 gets interchanged into 18. The ones place and the digit, uh, tens place number gets interchanged. If we subtract 27 with one of the number. So, that criteria has to be also masked. So, we don't know. So, what we can take is let the units place digit be x okay so the tens place digit would be obvious the sum is 9 so it would be 9 minus x now required two digit number um, now if you want to make the two digit number we have to make it 
मल्टीप्लाइड विद द प्लेस वैल्यू टेन इंटू नाइन माइनस एक्स प्लस एक्स नाउ इट बिकम्स द टू डिजिट नंबर बिकॉज प्लेस वैल्यू हैज टू बी मल्टीप्लाइड विद द टेंस प्लेस डिजिट सो टेन इंटू नाइन नाइनटी माइनस टेन एक्स प्लस एक्स दैट गिवस नाइनटी माइनस नाइन एक्स नाउ एज पर द क्वेश्चन एज पर द क्वेश्चन इफ नाइनटी माइनस नाइन एक्स is subtracted with 27 the digits get interchange means 10 into x plus 10 into x means the unit digit which was x earlier it came to the tens place and the tens place that was 9 minus x came into the units place okay so we can bring all the constants on one side so let's say 90 minus 27 minus 9 and on this side 10x minus x is 9x and that 9x goes on that side so if you subtract 90 minus 27 it comes around 63 again you subtract 9 it gives you 54 and this side 18 so x is equal to 18 into 3 is 54 so therefore you get the two digit number therefore you get the two digit number as 90 minus 9x that gives you 90 minus 9 into 3 that is 90 minus 27 that gives you 63 as the right answer okay wonderful let's move on to the next question The product of the nine fractions one minus one by two, one minus one by three, one minus one by four, and so on, till the one minus one by ten. Then what would be the answer? All right. Click on the pause button and solve it, and write on the chat box what option you are getting. All right. Let's look into the answer. If you are getting one by ten, it's fantastic. Very good. So let's look. So product. So let's we do the subtraction of the numbers being inside your bracket. So one minus one by two. What we get is one by two into. If you subtract one minus one by three, you will get two by three. Similarly, one minus one by four, you will get three by four. And similarly, the other numbers, if you take, you know, four by five, dot dot dot, somewhere it will come around nine by ten. So what you look here is two two gets cancelled, three three gets cancelled, four four gets cancelled. So five will be also cancelled with a number which will be coming. So similarly, nine will also get cancelled. So what is left on the numerator one? Denominator is ten. So this is our right answer, one by ten. and you can see you are being able to solve again a question of your imo so you have the potential students you have the potentials so if you just do the course which i am talking about this level 4 level 5 level 6 so on lot of courses are being there by taking by the very very awesome teachers of vedantu so once again i am reiterating that very soon on the 6th october that is friday olympiad math mastery level 4 is going to start where you can see such amazing amazing highlight points and the price is also so minimalistic so that everyone gets the benefit of it and you are also getting an additional discounts of 10% when you are using my code amitke so once again i would ask everyone to please share this information with your amazing junior students friends relatives you know and the link is being given in the description chalo then see you in the next video till then tada bye bye thank you so much